Welcome to beautiful Chevery, Nova Scotia. If the next federal election is fought on the issue of the environment, the Liberals will lean heavily on the expertise of MP Scott Bryson. He's an actual outdoorsman. He's run the New York City Marathon three times, although never with Stéphane Dion on his back. And he joins me now. Hi, Scott. How are you? Hi, Rick. Welcome to Chevery and to King's Hands. Thank you very much, sir. So you're going to show me around the riding? Absolutely. This is the before first. election signs blight the landscape. Election signs don't blight the landscape, and I like to have more of them than anybody else, but they, they, this is the they birth blight. Windsor is the birthplace of hockey. That's oh, that's fighting words, though, isn't it? Uh, no, no, not at all. It's, it's absolutely unequivocal. Windsor is the birthplace of hockey. King's Hans is the home of the largest pumpkins in the world. We grow them right here. Okay, this is all too much excitement. Let's get going. <laughs> How are you? Well, Good to again. see you. Hi. Nice to see you. Hello. Yes, and oh, wow. Of course. Well done. Nice you. That's an he, honor for He me. tells me the, uh, the chowder is good. Well, that's what they say. It's the best in the best, Nova best Scotia. Best in Nova Scotia. Oh, look at this. It's not just a restaurant. Absolutely, absolutely. You've got a hardware store. You've got a gift store. Is yeah. there an inn up there as well? Yeah, they've, they've got five rooms. It's actually a really great country inn. And in this place, they actually take push all the gifts and that kind of stuff back on Wednesday nights, and they do a country music jam session here. I have actually performed right here during their jam sessions. I'm sure you have. I'll keep a close watch on this heart of mine. I keep my eyes wide oh. open all the time. Once people hear me sing, they want to keep me in politics. I love this though, an inn, a restaurant, a hardware store, you got your fasteners, you got your nuts, you got your bolts. Anything you need, in fact, uh, this is where I buy my rubbers. Oh, that's great. Doris! Very good. So now, talk to me about hockey. Well, Windsor, is the birthplace of hockey. Now, is that fighting words? Because aren't there other places that claim to be the birthplace of hockey? Yeah, but they're wrong. Now, Scott, you actually played hockey? Yeah, absolutely. I played hockey until I went to university. Like on the hockey team? Yeah, in what position? Well, I started off on right wing, but as you yes. know, I moved to the center. Right. Do you vote for this fellow? Go ahead. Yeah. yeah. That's players. the first time he was quiet the good entire day. Good hockey players in that family, too. Exactly. Did you hear that? I seem to hear a qualification that didn't involve you. Good hockey players in that family. I was one of those. Was he one of them? Did you play hockey? Yes. <laughs> So we're going in a boat? Actually, Rick, we're going in uh, two kayaks uh, today. And you just have them lying around? Yeah, yeah we, we kayak all the time here. I mean, when I was a kid going to school and stuff, and sometimes it was faster than waiting for the bus. You wouldn't kayak to school. You underestimate me, Rick. <laughs> you did not kayak to school. You That's underestimate me. Would you wear this to It's kind of a legend in these parts. <laughs> uh, I bet if you show up in grade eight wearing this, <laughs> that's the type of thing that sticks to you. It's a boy! <laughs> Rick, I gotta put your rudder down. I have a rudder? Yeah, you do, and it's up in the air. <laughs> I'm rudderless. <laughs> I'm like your party. How deep is this water? Here. Right here would probably be about uh, 15 feet. So these are the highest tides in the world. That's right. So you look out of your house, you see this ocean, and then twice a day you look out and it's just a big mud flat? Yeah, it freaks out the tourists. Let's just go through your history. You're first elected as a progressive conservative. Yes, 1997. And then you gave up the seat yes, for Joe Clark. That's right. <laughs> I, was, I was elected here in 1997, 2000, and 2003 as a progressive conservative, and 2004 and 2006 as a liberal. The Tories are ahead in the polls. Are they going to kill the liberals? Are they going to destroy you? How are you going to do? We're gonna we're gonna do well. You're I think as work? Canadians get to know Stefan Dion, that uh, I love how you managed to work Stefan Dion's first and last name into every sentence. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well let's talk about the environment because it's all the environment, environment, environment with people now. How important is this going to be heading into the next election? Uh, fact fact is there's huge opportunities economically in good environmental policy in the fastest growing area. The, 21st century economy is going to be in clean energy. And why not make Canada a global leader in clean energy? That's good for business, too. Yeah, you're a business guy. 
I have my background, yeah. That's your background? You, what, you sold fridges or something? I, my first business was renting fridges to students. Uh, there's no money in selling fridges. You only make money once. Right. But I started a business when I was a student at Dalhousie, renting fridges to students. Beer fridges? Beer, well, no, 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 no. They had, uh, they were they were like veggie many, veggie and yogurt fridges. But, how many uh, beer fridges would you rent in the run of a year? Uh, we, we built up to 1,200 fridges at uh, campuses throughout Atlanta, Canada. You owned 1,200 fridges at one point? A lot of, yeah, fridge benefits. <laughs> With the buns! The best things in life are free on. Do you get whales up here? That's a yes, no question, Scott. And try to answer it without using Stefan Dion's name. <laughs> a whale was beached uh, a few years ago over there and, and died. Stefan Dion came in and tried to save it, but uh, well, unfortunately he didn't get there far enough. And, he didn't get there fast and enough. And Stephen Harper clubbed it to death before he could get there. <laughs> Honest to God. Scott, thank you very much. Thanks, Rick. Thanks for the tour. Good luck in the election. Come back in the summer. What's that guy's name again? The leader? The uh, <laughs> Prime Minister Stefan Dion.